there are sides and walls to play off. Let's have a look. From the heat of the Mexican sun to the center of Birmingham, the sport which was invented by a Mexican tennis player has come of age here in an old warehouse. And those playing paddle tennis today have a lot to thank Enrique Guerrero for. He got fed up with the ball going out of play and having to run and fetch it when he couldn't return to serve. I felt the same when facing some of the world's top servers in my reporting duties over the years. The rallies are rather short, can be rather soul destroying, the temptation is to give up. But there is an answer. Play a version of the game in which there are back walls and sides, so the ball never goes out. And you always get a second chance. Hey, if your serve is really, really good, then it's going to be really hard to hit the ball back. In paddle, as we serve on the waist, then the return is going to be much easier, so the point gets longer than in tennis. And you play with your partner, this game always doubles, so, you know, it's more fun. It's played with these paddle bats and pretty much normal tennis balls, but you always allow this extra bounce off the wall or sides. And so different standards of players can have a much longer rally together. When well, my son just said he's fancy having a knock away. He didn't really fancy, he's never liked tennis or anything like that. I had one game and I got addicted. I had two knee operations, so tennis is a bit too difficult really. We were running to get the ball more than anything else. Here, the ball's in close, here, we're running so far. You do eventually win a point if the ball hits the back wall above the line. If it goes into the net, the ball bounces twice and the scoring is the same as in normal tennis. In tennis, once it's gone past you, the point's over. Then this you can like retrieve it off the wall and stuff like that. You just have to be accurate and wait for the time to come to put them in their spot. The growth of this sport has been remarkable. Four years ago, there were just two paddle tennis courts in the UK. Now there are 36. If you come at this sport having never picked up a racket of any kind, you have fun quickly, you learn quickly, and you get good quickly, so it's very, very addictive. You don't need a fantastic amount of technique, as you proved very adequately today, to have a good laugh and play the sport. Yeah. Fantastic. Its growth has been just as quick in Europe too, with Sweden building over a hundred courts. And the top players will compete here in Birmingham on the British Tour next month. Believe me, it is easy to pick up. If I can do it, it looks anybody quite hard can. Work. Yeah, I mean, you get a good workout because the rallies go on and.